All right, welcome back, everybody. We are back on this 95 F-150. We're working on the AC today, and we're going to try to get this thing to be ice, ice cold. And as you guys know, we've done our best to ruin this truck. We so have. We're going to carry on today in Frankenstein R4 <laughs> by combining the existing OBS system with the Coyote swap That's system. right. Well, what do people normally do? All the existing components from your swap and your OBS truck, we're going to show you guys how to merge it. Hey Ryan, let's open up that box and show everybody what's inside this AC kit. This is your compressor to your accumulator side. This is your high pressure side. It goes from your condenser to your compressor and has your high pressure switch, which is right here. This is your stock accumulator. We are not using the high pressure side switch because we have one in line. And last, these are the adapters that go into your Coyote compressor that allows you to adapt it to use our line sets. So Ryan, one of the biggest questions that people are gonna have is how do you electrically make this thing work? So no guys, really, it's it's really simple. Um, the high pressure switch needs something, the compressor needs something, and then this needs something. And this. they all do something together. Why don't you tell them? Do you want me to explain this? Why don't... We all know I'm the personality. <laughs> yeah, Explain a, to the people at home. Okay. And this is not included in the kit. You okay. will have to know how to do this follow, yourself. Follow along. Okay. Follow along. It's so, very it's it's very intricate. It's not that bad. So uh, we are keeping most everything on the OBS side, right? This is basically in a stock accumulator right here. Yes. Pretty much stock routing of the lines. We have the stock condenser. Yes. Right? Yes. Now we're just gonna use the stock wiring. The way this originally worked, the power comes from the button inside the cab, right here. And it normally goes right into a pressure switch on this accumulator. Well, we're, we've removed that. So we've extended the wire to come down right into here into our new pressure switch. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it goes down to our clutch on our compressor. Mm -hmm. And out the other side coming back up is the ground. It's that so, simple. So the idea is, as long as there's pressure on the high side, and as long as there's power telling it to activate the system, it will turn the clutch on. It's really that simple, that's all there is. The last thing we needed to do electrically was to get our fans to turn on when you turn the AC button on inside the cab. So we installed this relay right here, about $6 on Amazon. That relay is really important because when you press that button inside the cab to turn the air on, you really need these fans to turn on also. The problem is that when you first start the truck up, the engine's cool and the fans aren't gonna run. So we needed to bypass that. The relay allows us to run battery power directly to the fans, but then be activated by our switch. So it's a very important piece of this puzzle, but it's not really hard at all. You can do this, piece of cake. All right, Ryan, so it looks like we got some cages plugged up. All right, guys, at this point, you're gonna charge your system like you normally would. You're gonna need this, you're gonna need this. We're not really here for that part of it. That's on you. If you don't know what the freak you're doing, go run your car off a cliff. Okay. Or or just or go to find other videos. Hey, Chris Fix has a really good video. There you go. That's what it was. Go over right. go over to our man Chris, and he's going to show you how to uh, pull a vacuum on the system to make sure you don't have any leaks, and then how to charge it up with your gauges. And that's how you get that ice cold air in your OBS Coyote Swap truck. It's going to be set. frigid. Can't wait. All right, let's do it. Guys, we've got two cans in it. Our compressor's turning on. The system is cycling. This is getting cold. Let's go inside and see if it's cooling down. <laughs> bro, 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 it's freaking cold. <laughs> Get to some of that, Steve. Woo! It's at 60 
bro, it's like at 60 freaking degrees. Feel that jump, dude. Oh, it feels way better. Holy cow, bro. I think we still got about another can to put in. At it. least. Guys, this setup is going to make your OBS cold as ice. Get your stomach out. All right, guys, this system really works well. We will have a link in the description if you want to buy this setup. Turn our AC on. Wipe the condensation off of her. And let's see what she gets down to. This AC is ice cold. If you want to watch more of our content, got some little boxes popping up here. Check out some more of our videos. We got a lot of them on this sweet truck that we've managed to ruin.